Hey guys, it's Coach. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to episode 27 of our Indianapolis Colts Rebuild. We're on a mission to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Last episode, Max Johnson, our rookie quarterback, uh, we completed his breakout, and he got his superstar. So, uh, so far, he's only a 72. We went with Quick, quick Draw and Pocket Deadeye to start off with. Um, we'll keep working on him. Big Lefty has been amazing. Uh, Alec Pierce um, has a breakout this week. So we have to give him, I think, 150 receiving yards, something like that. I clicked through it on accident without showing you guys. I got excited. I was, I was like, no way, we got another breakout. So I clicked on it. But here we go, at home against the Dolphins. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get back-to-back -back breakouts for our young team. These guys are amazing. Obviously, you see they got Tyreek Hill. They got Xavier Howard still. Jalen Waddle will be here. I don't know if they have two. I can't remember. I thought for some reason they have someone other than two. It might have been Teddy Bridgewater. I'm playing so many Madden games, so many series. I put out over forty up or uh, over eighty episodes in the last forty-five days, so I might have forgot a little bit. Um, but there's our rookie quarterback. As you see, deep completion, man. When we do take a shot, we are impressive. But uh, we are a run first team. Everybody knows that. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, our defense stops at the two. Jonathan Taylor broke the all-time rushing record last year with 3,000 rushing yards. He had 29 touchdowns, was also a record. He's off to a great start this year as well. We just haven't had to feed him as much. I think Max Johnson has been better. And obviously, we went out and got a right, our right guard number 50 there, Trey Turner. We paid him a bunch of money to come and help us. Um, our team's just better than it was last year, which is crazy to say because we won a Super Bowl. Um, as you see, our rookie center, that was our number one pick this year. The 32nd pick is Jarrett Patterson out of Notre Dame. He's in because Ryan Kelly, our starting center, is out. So I'm so glad we drafted him and got some depth. Um, he's only like um, – uh, hold on, I'm trying to focus here. I don't want to screw this up. He's only like – I forgot he was a lefty. That's on me. That's on me. I just got done playing a Falcons episode with Ritter, and he's a righty. Ah, We'll clean it up. They're going to go down and score seven. But I think we can beat this team – um, like I was saying, I'm so glad we drafted him. He was kind of a bust in my eyes at number 32. We were taking best available, so that's what we ended up with. We're going to get tackled for loss. That doesn't happen much with Jonathan Taylor. But like I said, our line isn't the most amazing thing you'll ever see. Let's run some play action. See what we can do here. Pressure. Don't even get the throw off. I was hoping to hit that wheel route with the tight end over there one-on-one. -on -one. We're in trouble. Third and 11. We're going to have to hit something big here. Clear out the box a little bit. They don't even chase him. They do. They walk down to safety. That actually helps us. Pressure again. We're going up to Pittman. It was almost another interception. The pressure is killing us. Over three with one pick right now. Seven nothing. Defense, I need you bad. I need you real bad. Let's see if we can stop him. They got Tyreek Hill back here. That's our newly acquired corner. Needman, he's been amazing. Star development. To like 25 years old, he's a stud. Come on, D. 7-0. Here we go. Stop him at the 3 again. Defense showed up today. They should have. We paid um, our middle linebacker, Big Bobby, a bunch of money. We follow Quentin Nelson. We also paid um, Yannick Ngakwe. A big four-year contract. So we made sure to lock those two staples of our defense down. Uh, we don't have a lot of money left, but we'll be clearing some money in the offseason. Um, I'm pretty sure Matt Ryan will be gone. And uh, we'll have to see what else is going to be there. Hines might be the odd man out. We might have to move Hines um, to clear up some cap to keep this thing rolling if we want to win back to back to back. You know, be, you know, keep this thing rolling. So um Campbell needs money so there's a lot going on here we're gonna have to figure it out but we'll take care of it this team's nasty there's a lot of guys who can step up and do their thing we're just gonna have to start cutting the fat a little bit we have um aging an aging safety and um McLeod who we signed last year some depth piece but we're gonna probably have to move him as well um we'll cut this outside ah all right we're gonna have to take this to the end of the first come back the second quarter and let's just be that team that we've been all year. If I don't make that dumb throw because I'm rolling across my body, we're not in a terrible situation right now. But let's go empty. Our line is very, very good. So we got Woods and Campbell coming across. Pierce is pretty much, you know, on their best player. Woods makes a catch, gets the first down. We're going to go hurry up with the empty here. 
I like what I'm seeing. We're going to put Pierce on a drag. Hopefully they're in zone. That way we can get Howard off of Pierce. They are in zone. All right, cool. He's a beast. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Pierce. I forgot we had a breakout for him, to be honest. So um, we probably aren't going to get 150 yards with him, but we're, we'll try. Um, I'm just going to try to win this game. That's more important to me than getting him a breakout. I mean, that might sound dumb, but um, we're playing so well. I want to win a Super Bowl. I don't want to hurt the team just by trying to get one guy a couple yards. He'll have opportunities to get more, so that's why I'm not really worried about it. I like Pittman over here. He's number two in the league in reception or receiving yards. Uh, finally, he's healthy. He was hurt all last year. There we go. We'll get it to him for the first down. He missed 11 games last year out of the 17, so I'm um, happy to have him back. He, uh, like I said, he missed the whole freaking season. It sucked. I knew he could be a stud um, and fill in for T.Y. Hilton when his career ended. We just need to keep him healthy. Oh, another one. Another block. Get there, Pierce. Come on, baby. That doesn't feel like that 4-3 he ran, I'll tell you that. Great catch and run, though. I was going to hit the tight end, but I saw him clear out behind. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Let's go to Jonathan Taylor down here. Six-yard line. Let's actually change it to a dive. I want to dive. I don't want to play action. Oh, uh, dive RB. It's usually Y, so my fault. It's a little cutback. Walk in, touchdown. Love to see it. I mean, as much as we were throwing there to uh, get Pierce going, we all know whose team this is. Jonathan Taylor is a 99 elusive and 99 power back already. He's amazing. Having so much fun with him. He'll probably still get 2,000 yards or so. I just, um, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. I, like I said earlier, I think our team is a lot better than it was last year, so we don't have to run it every single play. Um, but we'll see. We'll leave him in the backfield to block. We have three. Uh oh. Is that Patterson? Or Pittman? Sorry. Nah, I'm talking about our center, Patterson. Pittman out here, like I said earlier, making some big time plays. Let's keep the hurry up. Keep them on their toes. They got a defensive lineman. Oh, okay, never mind. Look like defensive lineman was rolled down. Wow, wide open for Woods. Our big tight end, 6'7, 270 pound monster that they drafted in real life this year. Um, in the third round. What a steal. I have a feeling he's going to be a steal. Um, we'll see what he can do here. Maybe he'll get this corner out. Touchdown? Nope. But we'll go to P Oof, Paris Campbell. Does he get both feet in? Yeah, he does. He has a contract. That's He's due a contract, too. So it's going to be a stressful end of the season trying to figure out the salary caps. And making sure we can't lose a guy like that. Uh, we did draft two rookie wide receivers, but they're not Paris Campbell. Um, so we got to find out a way to keep him. They see the runs coming. Let's try to go to the air once here. We'll put Pierce on a slant, maybe. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, no. We have to. Oh, why? Ah. Uh, I don't understand that. He was open and stopped and turned around and went the other way. I'm not sure. I mean, he should have kept running to the sideline and helping his quarterback out. Defense helps us out, though. Let's go back to the – or we got a minute 24. Let's not go back to the run. Ah, that I think that would have been open. I don't know why he stopped. But we got Woods on a go here. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Good job, Pierce. Minute 36. We have two timeouts. Looks like defense used one. Go play action. I like to come back to the left here. Never mind. I don't like it because they doubled it. We'll just keep it. Oh, good run. Tight roping down the sideline. Gets out of bounds. Love to see that out of Max Johnson. 15 yards. That's something we would not. I'm not trying to bash Matt Ryan because I'm a big Matt Ryan fan. Um, I think he's going to be amazing in Indy. But um, that's something you don't, you're not going to get out of him. He's not going to extend a play like that. Oh, Paris Campbell. That's what I mean. We Those two rookies are probably going to be special one day, but they're not him. <laughs> this dude's just open all the time. He's been so much fun in the slot. I'm glad we decided to make that change and let T.Y. walk. As much as I like T.Y. Hilton, I think it was the right move. All right, we got a one minute, two timeouts. Great route by our tight end. Go, baby. 
Ah, Woods. It doesn't have the speed to outrun Row. What a great draft. I say it all the time, but what a great draft. And Chris Ballard, the GM for the Colts, is the man. <laughs> he goes out and he doesn't have first-round picks, so what do they do? They go get the best receiver in the draft in the – oh, pressure. The best receiver in the draft in the second round, and then they go get a 6-7 stud tight end in the third round with their second pick. It's just – it's crazy how good this dude is. We're going to have to use our first timeout. It's going to be third and, what, 10? All right. We we can take the field goal here, obviously, but don't want to. Um, I would love to. Obviously, we're not going to hit that post with Campbell or uh, with Pierce getting guarded by Howard. But we might be able to hit Woods if they're in man coverage. They are not. We're going to go cross, try to get beat in he does i told you guys he was the best receiver in the draft i'm telling you wait they say he didn't catch that okay he did catch it they're just short ah uh, four yards we got 22 seconds timeout let's just kick the field goal i guess i hate playing it safe but i think we have the ball coming out we really really need to win this game Great kick. Blankenship obviously has a contract coming up as well. I showed that in the last episode. Matt Ryan holding really hurts my heart. I do wish I would have waited longer before I um, decided to make the change. But now that he's had an X factor and all this stuff, I mean, I can't change for Max Johnson now. So I do apologize if uh, that bugs you guys. But I think this is a realistic thing. I mean, if they win a Super Bowl, Matt Ryan's going to hang it up. He's going to be 37 years old. Um, looks like they did stick with Tua. But that's just how I felt about it. I think it was time for a change. Matt Ryan came out. It wasn't very good. And uh, I think it keeps some life in this. You know, moving on with a rookie. We just won a Super Bowl with Matt Ryan, so let's see if we can do it again. It changes the whole kind of like, uh, you know, culture a little bit. Make these young guys step up. We make these other guys step up and be leaders. It's pretty cool. I don't know. In my opinion, it is. I could be wrong. <laughs> Woods gets the first down. We're going to hurry up offense, go back to the air. 13 for 17, 190 out of the rookie quarterback. Pierce, we got a corner by Pittman. I like that. I like that a lot. He's kind of torching Howard a little bit in these man coverages. I like what I'm seeing. Steps up in the pressure. Good job by our rookie quarterback, Max Johnson. Uh, if you didn't know, his dad won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers years years ago um old brad johnson so uh, it's pretty cool to see you know the little lineage kind of going on here maybe he'll you know keep it championship winning dna maybe i don't know i guess we'll have to see stick around to find out huh so let's go play action i don't feel any pressure wow look at paris campbell wide open <laughs> I told you guys, this dude's a stud. I mean, they did have a defensive lineman guarding him, so maybe I shouldn't get too carried away, but we got Paris Campbell in a post. Woods is going to sit there. He might be open instantly. Let's see what happens. He's not. Pressure again. I just tried to throw it away. Should have just checked it down to Woods, but I was fearing uh, that linebacker stepping down and taking that. Uh, and we're in pretty, We were in good field position, and I ruined that, but... Uh, all right, let's clear it out with Hines. Um, we got, let's see, trips to the left here. Xavier Howard. Kind of out of the way for once. Let's go to Pittman. What a dog. We're going to hurry it up. I like this trips away from Howard. We can actually do something with this. Um, do we go? Is that Pittman? Oh, it's Campbell. Okay. Campbell on the fade. I'm not mad at that. Let's put Pierce on a slant. Oh, boy. Pressure again. All right. <laughs> Braden Smith's been struggling a little bit here. Fourth and 22. We're going to have to take the 55-yard field goal. There was nothing there, unfortunately. Should be a good kick by Blankenship. Seven on our win in our face. Right down the middle. Great job. Extend the lead a little bit. 13-7. Is our defense having them again? They do. What an amazing team we have. It's insane. All right, I'm interested to see if the guys we paid a bunch of money to that are doing well or, you know. It's pretty cool. I try to keep, you know, real life. Like, oh, you got paid a bunch of money. Are you going to actually show up? Are you going to kind of slow down? 
I know that's a video game, so it's not really like that, but I like to think it is. All right, we got Woods over here. We got Pierce dragging a claw. I like Pittman. If that safety steps down, he didn't. I don't know if I can complete that. Oh, I can. Okay. It's the only route I had, and I was on on the run. 17 to 21, 249. Oh, Pierce has 114. He only needs 150. We are so close, I didn't even realize it. We're going to go to the play action. We have a lot of time left. We're going to play it. Ah, let's run it. we got to win this game. We need a touchdown bad here. Cut it back. Ah, oh, nothing going. I thought I could cut it back. It's 15 for 61. It's a pretty bad day for him. I mean, I know those are pretty good numbers normally, but for him, it's not. This dude's a stud. We've only ever had one game ever. Under 100 yards with him in our two years. So, in our, what, 28 episodes? Okay, well, let's see if we can go ahead and get this X Factor out of the way. We're going to be close. We're going to hurry up offense. We're not going to let them get their big boys in the game. We're going to hand it to Jonathan Taylor to the left. Nothing there. I'm just going to stick it up in there and hopefully not lose anything. I'm going to go back to the hurry up. We're going to Jonathan Taylor again. I know it's second goal, but he's our guy. Oh, runs a guy over, gets us close. Hurry up offense one more time. I don't want them to get their big boys in, so we're just going to throw it out of this. Let's see if we can get Woods, maybe. Pressure. Oh, out of reach. We're going to go for it here. Oh, I know this is a bad idea, but we're going for it. Oh, we should extend the lead, dummy. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're going for it. Here we go. Two-yard line. We're going to do a toss if I can find it to our workhorse Jonathan Taylor we're going left Mr. Irrelevant our our fullback does he step up and make a block here he does what a block Mr. Irrelevant the fullback who doesn't love a fullback Jonathan Taylor's the man I mean what what else do you expect out of him I'm so glad we went for that I mean it works come to worst you know we don't get it. Our defense has them back down. I got to go 98 yards against our really good defense. Or you just give the ball to Jonathan Taylor and go score a touchdown. Easy touchdown as well. Nobody's anywhere close because of our fullback. Let's go. A little bit of breathing room here. Feels good. And I think we got the X factor for, um, oh, I stayed in goal line. That's my bad. But I think we got the X Factor for Pierce. If not, it's going to be pretty close. Let's see if we can get a couple yards out of this. 19 for 72 touchdowns. Pretty efficient day, I'd say. We'll see if we can keep rolling. I like the trap with um, Nelson, even though there's nobody to trap here. So he should just get next level and take that linebacker out of the play. He did. Nothing really going there. Trey Turner's trying his best. Our rookie is struggling a little bit. At center, but I mean, what do you expect? It's his first start ever. Ugh, Hines, that a boy. Give me a block upfield. Good job, Paris Campbell. We're going to step out of bounds. 19 for 24, 289, two interceptions. Ooh. Not a great day by me through the air. I'll say that. But we're a passing team. We, they forced us to throw. I mean, that's a great job by them. We're going to put Pittman on a go, clear it out. Oh. Clear it out a little bit. We got a corner out from Paris. Ugh, I don't like any of it. I don't like any of it. I should have thrown it away. We're going to lose a yard or two. Dang it. Great job by uh, their linebackers today. They played very well. They've held Taylor down a little bit. Big hole to the A-gap, though. Our rookie fullback screws that up. If he hits the hole, takes out the one linebacker in the box, we're still running probably. All righty, five minutes left. We're up. We have three timeouts. We got a lot going for us here. Paris Campbell coming across. Our tight end Woods. We overthrow him. Inaccurate just because it's a bullet. That's the dumbest thing Madden's ever put in their video game. All right, seven on our win in our face. Blankish has been really good today and all year, really. There we go. Puts it through. Let's see if our defense can keep holding him. They do not. They go down 14 to 22. Probably should check and see if Pierce has his 150 real quick in case I need to throw it some more. 
Oh, went right past it. Pierce, 132. I don't have it. Oh, man. All right, well, we're going to have to go back to the air a little bit probably. Um, I mean, if we're this close, we got to try. Three minutes left. We need, what, 18 yards? Is that what it was? Let's go to the gun. I need him in the game. There we go. Let's get some, something simple coming back across the field. We'll put him in, like, um, that in route maybe. See if we can get that in route rolling here. Don't think we're going to have the time, though. Put him on a slant instead. We just got to get the ball to him without turning it over. There we go. Two feet in. One of their guys goes down. Their defense tackle. Wilkins, how big of a catch was that? Dang it. Didn't get to see how big of a catch it was. I think we're close, though. We got him on an in route here. I'm going to switch it to a drag so uh, Howard doesn't catch up. We're going to leave Taylor in the backfield to block. Give me some more time. Just check it down. Oh, almost picked it off. He read that instantly. It's crazy. 311. It's going to be close, fellas. I'm stressing a little bit over it. I know we can get this. Oh, they're going to man him up now. Okay, maybe he's not going to get this. Pressure. Pick. Oh, he almost caught it. Sorry that I'm forcing this. I really want to get this for him right now. We're going to have to go uh, trips. In. Let's see. They're not pressing him, so what do we have here? I don't want him on that post. I want him to just get a simple drag, third and ten, turn it up. There it is. There it is. Score a touchdown, Pierce. Outrun him. And he's going to take it home. So glad we went out early and make sure he got that. It should be back-to-back -back breakout games. Pierce is going to dance a little bit. He just took it home. on their. He's been burning their best receiver all day. I love to see it. What a beast. Catches it. Outruns him. Howard can't keep up with him. 22 mile an hour. Got that thing topped out. Scoring a touchdown as I punch my microphone. Defense gives up a touchdown. We have an eight point lead here. We're going to go back to the ground. We're going to run this clock out. We're going to win this game. Let's see if we can get uh, Taylor his, you know, 100 yard average real quick. But it doesn't look like it. Our rookie center is just hard to read. He was getting beat, and then I go, I read his hips, and then he lets the guy sneak through. So not great today, but um, we are going to have to have the breakout. We should get the win, should. Oh, my God. Instant tackle right there in the backfield. Maybe we won't get the win. We keep screwing around. Oh, man, they're stressing me out a little bit here. The instant tackle for loss right there is so annoying. All right, let's run this to the right. See if Jonathan Taylor has some greatness left in him right here to win this game. Oh, you went under the block. That was stupid. Run him over. Get the first down. There we go. That should be the game. I'm going to keep running it with him and try to you know, stack them yards up, though. Uh, see, no timeouts left for them. Minute 27 for us. Run to the left. Tackle for loss again. They're absolutely killing our offensive line. 26 for 91. I wanted to get him his 100 yards, but I don't see nine more yards in him in a minute. Um, we'll see. Our fullback makes a good play. Runs through a tackle. We're going to have two plays left to get four yards here for him. Maybe. I didn't want to want to dive, but here we go. We're going to run it behind Nelson. To the left, we need four yards. We're not going to get it. We're going to go for it on fourth down. <laughs> Try to get him his yards. Here we go. We're going to run a stretch. We're going to run left. We're going to hope that Woods can kick him out. We're not going to. We're going to run it with one second left. I'm not going to give them any time to score a touchdown here. We just want to get him his yards. Here we go. One second left. We'll run it. Stretch this thing out. Hopefully get the yards. He's not going to get his yards. He's going to be close, though. Two yards off, 29 for 98, two touchdowns. I tried there at the end to keep his average of 100 yards rolling. 
but it's a great game. We're going to get the breakout most likely. We'll look at, we'll look at it after this. 96.6 rating, 21 for 29, 358, 72% completion, one touchdown, two interceptions. So, I mean, his two, you know, eight incompletions, two of them are picks. So, a pretty good day, I would guess. 29 for 98, 3.3 average, not great, two touchdowns. 10 for 201 for Alec Pierce, one touchdown. Woods had four for 41, Campbell four for 48. Pittman, 2 for 46. Hines, 1 for 22. Sack given up by Ryman and Smith. Nick Cross, big-time strong safety. You guys are in love with him. Um, so I've been pushing him as a starter. He's looking pretty good. Leads us in tackles. Yannick got some money and gets a tackle for loss. Buckner also had one. Buckner also had two sacks. No interceptions for us today. A couple pass deflections. Pierce had a pass deflection. Okay, Leonard and Willis. No forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries. Let's go look real quick. I think we got it. Well, I know we got it. Um, let's go take a look. I didn't show this to you last time I got a breakout, so I had to remember to do it this time. I'm pretty sure it was 150 yards. Uh, we'll go ahead and level him up real quick. We'll get Woods up to 76, but 78 with the morale. He's looking good. Here we go. Breakout player. What I tell you, that's what I'm talking about. Alec Pierce now has a superstar development trait. Let's go. Let's go take a look at what we're going to get him real quick. I don't know if he leveled up or not, but um, let's go manage roster. You guys can tell me if he should have something else. I don't really know the best traits to give these guys, but he's an 81 now, a superstar development. He did level up. I'll take care of that after this. Second win, that's probably not going to happen. Um, wow, he's got a lot of stuff already. Matchup Nightmare. Okay, that's not going to happen. Uh, route Apprentice is pretty good. Four additional routes. Evasive. Ball carrier this ability have steerable juke animations. Ooh. Might be the go-to there. I do like the jukebox. Jukebox. All right, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Evasive to start off with. He can't get a second one yet because he needs to get better um, everything, obviously. But uh, we'll level him up real fast. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, you Colts fans are incredibly um, insane and generous. Um, <laughs> but if you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe, share, like, do all that stuff. And um, hopefully uh, YouTube will see that and appreciate that and start giving me a little bit of credit for what I'm going for here. But uh, the hard work will pay off one day. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.